guys welcome to AWS hands-on so uh, just a couple of days back I completed my AWS solutions architect professional exam and what you see on the screen is my result uh, so you see I scored overall of 80% and this is the sectional division uh, since I've completed my uh, professional exam I'm getting a lot of queries from everyone as to how to prepare for AWS uh, solutions architect exam how to go for the professional exam so I mean it was getting very difficult to reply individually so I thought I'll do a video and just go over the brief of as to how I did my preparations so uh, just to start off it took me around three months uh, so I started somewhere in March so from March, April and May, uh, so it took me around, yep, complete three months. Uh, so for anybody who's uh, preparing for professional exam, uh, for starters, I would say just uh, go over uh, through any of the takeover the course from uh, either A Cloud Guru or take it from Linux Academy. They both are equally good and, and they give you a very good uh, high level idea of what professional exam is so just complete that I mean it will take you around max 10 days to complete um, any of those uh, after completing those courses I uh, I mean I subscribed in AWS subreddit uh, on reddit.com uh, a lot of uh, useful information is there on reddit so if you want you can do that I mean that's an optional uh, but I generally do a lot of reddit so that's the second thing you can do uh, then coming on to that next step would be to read the white papers I mean there are especially the storage white papers that's very important uh, for professional exam uh, there will be a lot of questions from storage uh, in fact you should read all the white papers you shouldn't be specific about any white paper just read all the white papers so that's going to take you some time and understand them mm, completely know how they will be implemented uh, uh, in your live environment if you are working in AWS environment uh, then there's a blog by Jayendra Patil uh, the guy is amazing uh, he has written awesome blog I mean I, I would say 50% of my preparation has come from his blog yeah, just awesome blogs awesome content condensed and not I mean if you go to AWS uh, uh, documentation you will be lost because it's just too much of documentation but Jayendra has condensed everything and has presented, presented it so well so anybody can just pick it up from there so that would be the next step to uh, professional exam and lastly is to go over the FAQs so just go over the FAQs of especially the core services uh, VPC uh, EC2, S3, RDS uh, and for professional I would say specifically go over the FAQs of Kinesis, DynamoDB, uh, Direct Connect so that those three are very important. Coming to the questions uh, so I cannot I mean I cannot give you direct questions since I'm bound by an NDA but there were a lot of questions from uh, Direct Connect uh, involving DynamoDB uh, the questions uh, from uh, you can say uh, setting up uh, uh, a dedicated connection using di direct connect and IPsec VPN so there were a lot of questions related regarding that a lot of questions related to your IAM that how would you grant an external application permission to your DynamoDB tables or your RDS uh, database so how, how would you do that uh, using a, a web identity federation services like the same security token services so a lot of questions were involved uh, uh, I mean used uh, that uh, uh, apart from that uh, mm, the questions are tough uh, just mind you uh, the paper is really tough I mean I'm surprised I got 80 percent although I went in to get uh, 100 percent so you see if, uh, if you aim for 100 you get 80 so I'll probably aim for higher to get 100 but I mean if you get 100 in professional exam you are really a master of AWS seriously it's it's a tough exam uh, any 
think if I have missed, I don't think so. Uh, C data uh, storage services, yeah, go over uh, storage gateways, the type of storage gateways, that's, that's very important. They'll come in bundle. Uh, not, I cannot remember the network design questions, what were this, but I did poorly. Uh, you can see just 57, so this is something I need to improve on. Yeah, cloud migration and hybrid architecture, like I said, a question involving direct connect how would you connect your on-prem data center to your uh, vpc in uh, aws so there's those kind of questions uh, i think yep that's pretty much it so this is my result in front of you and ping me if you have any other questions uh, thank you for watching bye